Okay, now Bachelor Nation, get ready to recap last night's episode. I'm going over all of it with the co-host of podcast Two Bros and a Rose, Brandon Smith. Hey, Brandon, thank you so much for being here this morning. Good morning, super host. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. We'll have to update my lower third on that. <laughs> so look, this episode last night was a snooze fest for me. What what did it do for you? Did it do anything? Listen, I'm still being patient. You know, the early returns aren't looking great, right? But, you know, Zach is looking for his best friend or I'm trying to go on this journey with him. I don't want to you know, we're not trying to judge a book all the way by its cover. Let, let's peel back some layers first and let's 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 give my man a little bit of a chance here. All right. OK, if you say so, I'm just putting the pieces together. I mean, people predicted this was going to be a slow, boring season and it just so far they're turning out to be very right. Okay, <laughs> So this I, I feel like this is really early in the season to meet the parents. He He's taken uh, you know, one of the girls on their solo date to meet his parents and extended family was there. I'm starting to feel like he's trying to move a little fast to hype up this season, like trying to pull anything out of his pockets that he can. What do you think? Yeah, we were talking about this on the, the podcast, uh, the current version of, of the podcast, um, that we think that taking someone to meet your parents on the first day is major red flag alerts, right? Like <laughs> no, no indication at all. And it wasn't just the parents, right? It was the parents and, and, and the aunts and the uncles and the friends and the neighbors. Like that was a barbecue that like, that was legit, yeah. right? That that was a whole different level of meeting the, the parents. That was, they was meeting everybody. So yeah, that was that's a little red flag is right. I, you can't be, you can't, don't be making me meet the parents that early and all that. No, no. Oh, a million percent. I have not met a man who can handle my cousins on a first day. <laughs> and I don't think that I ever will. That I would never do that to somebody. Although I did have a man make me meet his father on the first date. And I was like, sir, we need to dial this back. <laughs> I feel like we need to get into that. <laughs> yeah, I got to come on the pod and, and we will definitely dive in. <laughs> Now, look, on this this episode, we had a previous, uh, you know, contestant of The Bachelor. I believe her name is Tajwan. I don't want to mispronounce it, but she tried to, like, wiggle her way onto this season. What did you think about that? Yeah, I mean, how about this method, right? You, she comes on with Lotto and you think she's like an ally to the women, right? Trying to <laughs> navigate through this day. Then all of a sudden she's like backstabbing the women and trying to you know, I don't want to say snake, but it was kind of a snake type of maneuver, right? Because again, she positioned herself as an ally to these women. And then she just looked at all these women and said, man, basically she was like, y'all not it. I, let me see if I can get Zach's attention. And, you know, granted, she shot her shot, but yeah, Zach, Zach wasn't feeling her. But Brandon, what blew my mind was she she shot her shot, you know, shoot or shoot. That I, I don't, I'm not mad at her, but after he kind of, you know, politely turned her down and said, no, you're not coming on this season. I'm already in this journey with these women. We cut to her crying. And I'm like, girl, you don't even know this man. Look, I I can't explain the emotions of, of, of some of you women, so I'm, I'm not going to touch that. But I'm, I'm just going to say from someone that was watching, I was, I was a bit disturbed about why she was crying. I was confused. <laughs> Okay, so before we go, I got to ask you, who is in first place for you right now? Who do you see coming out of this thing on top? Uh, Greer? I only know like three names right now. Greer, <laughs> Bailey, I think I told you those names last week. But no, I mean, I don't think it's anybody that's really separated themselves. I guess Christina had the one-on-one -on -one day, so right. that looks good for her too. Million percent. Nobody is standing out. I don't even have a first place right now. I got to see more episodes. Thank you so much, Brandon, for being here. We really appreciate it. Everybody go listen to Two Bros and Our Rose wherever you get podcasts. <laughs>